Falls next week. Today is the 16th of September. Hey guys, so, um, I'm doing a review slash demo of the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. As you guys know, and if you don't, this, um, was sent to me from influencers so I'm gonna link the video down below of my influencer box when I got it and I don't think I've talked about it since but I'm doing a demo and review of this so yes also I'm wearing a really fall look and it's not even freaking fall yet they sent me the shade number 10 porcelain and this is the lightest shade that they do carry of from this line um I'm not exactly sure how many shades there are, but this is the lightest, and it actually works really, really well. If you're a super pale princess, then this is going to work great for you. Like, it doesn't match me perfectly because the tone of my skin is a little bit different. So I use this Physician's Formula to set it with, just because I like the way it looks. Um, but I'll talk about the wear without powder, and then the wear with powder. So... Um, this is the powder that I've been using to set it. If I know the exact name of this, I will list it down below for you guys, so just check down there. It has more of a yellow tone, which is what the tone of my skin is. So, this one just had, like, no tone. It really does have, yeah, it does have more pink undertone in here, but it just showed up white. This product, it does not oxidize. It ends really beautifully. The brush that I used in the demo, I'll link the review for these brushes down below, but I talk about them all the time, but they are really good brushes. They've actually changed my makeup game a lot. This is an amazing product. I don't know why it looks like that. I like the packaging. It's a nice glass um, bottle. It's nice and square. I like the blue. Um, there's a pump. Um, I believe this retails anywhere from $10 to $15 um, at my Target. I believe it was like $12, which is pretty good. And at Walmart, I've seen it for $10. And then at Walgreens, I've seen it for like $15. So um, that's just how it goes. It's totally fine with me. It says it's oil-free, and it does have sunscreen in it. Um, but it doesn't show through or anything like that. The cool thing about this is that it states that it's going to make your skin healthier in the long run. So... Um, I wonder if it's something like the Healthy Skin by Neutrogena. I've never tried the foundation before. If you guys have, let me know in the comments how it is and if I should pick it up. Um, and then, like, try and compare because maybe that's, like, the same type of deal. Because this one says it's going to help out your skin with, um, redness and evenness and things like that. Um, since using this, I don't have as much redness. That is true. Um, and also... I haven't had as much acne um, when I'm on a good cleaning schedule. If you leave this on, you're going to break out, but when I don't wear a primer, it lasts for probably 10 hours. Without a primer and with a powder, it lasts for 10 hours. With a primer and with a powder, it's a 24-hour foundation. No joke. If you're not oily. I'm not oily anywhere, really. I pretty much have normal to dry skin. Um, and then I just have some dry patches from that. I don't really have super dry skin or anything like that. It's flawless. This is a great foundation, and it's probably going to be my go-to foundation. Um, it's just wonderful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lead you guys into the demo, and I will be back. Tears are falling from her eyes She awakens from the lies They sold her those broken dreams They can keep you up at night And David tries He is reaching towards the sky Trying hard to see the light That shows him where to go So he can do what's right you 
have tried it, let me know your thoughts about it. Um, I think it's a great product. I do recommend it to everybody. I'm going to leave a link where you can buy this down below so you guys can go get it for yourself because I think this is such a good product. I normally don't do that where I leave a link so you can go and buy it, but I think it's that good. So this little guy is a yes. This is a yes, and they better not discontinue. I have not tried the concealer um, because I actually think that this is fine as a concealer. Um, this is buildable and things like that. It's buildable, medium to full, depends on how much redness I have. If I have very, very red, it needs another layer, like it needs another layer in just that area. It doesn't look cakey when you build it up at least for two layers. I mean, it doesn't crease up under the eyes, which is great, and I absolutely just love this foundation. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.